I don't know about you guys, but I spent my Memorial Day visiting family and also hitting up local comic shops in Illinois. If you want to see what I picked up, stay tuned to this video. How you guys doing? Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, I just want to provide you with a quick snapshot of some of the books that I picked up during the Memorial Day holiday. I was out visiting family, couldn't help myself, and I hit up a couple of different bookstores and comic book shops in the immediate area in between some of those family activities. So get right down to it. I want to show you guys some of the books that I picked up. The first place that I went uh, was a complete bust. Um, it was a comic shop that I had high hopes for because online it looked like a great shop. But when I arrived and kind of you know started making my way through the shop, I realized that they really weren't a comic shop. They were more of a game shop. They had an entire room set up just for people to play, I guess, strategy or board games or something like that. Um, their, their back issues were probably four long boxes, if that. Um, they had no wall books, no slab books. Um, they had a nice inventory of, of uh, current books, but many of the books that I read were actually um, out of stock already. And so there really wasn't much for me at this shop. So it was a complete bust, which is fine. I mean, I still had a chance to go to a new shop and look around and, and see how they do things. Um, so while driving down the road from that one shop, I'm Googling comics and I find that a local bookstore supposedly has comics. It was, a, it was a bookstore called Books A Million. So I decided to go by, check it out, because it was on my way right down the street, decided to, to see what they had. And lo and behold, they had a pretty nice inventory of books. Most of them were current books, but they also had some older issues um, kind of mixed in there just a little bit. So I picked up a couple of Amazing Spider-Man books, books that I had not seen before. Um, so I decided to grab them because I had not seen them before. And so um, why not? At the, the prices that they were charging, I thought, why not? So the first book that I picked up was Amazing Spider-Man uh, number one. This is actually the fried pie variant edition. In fact, all the books that I'm showing you from this store are fried pie variant edition. And I believe, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that fried pie is a variant that is only offered through um, general bookstores and not through comic shops. And I believe that most of the books have relatively low print runs. So first one, Amazing Spider-Man number one. I thought this was a really cool cover that appears to be uh, uh, watercolor. I just thought it was a really nice profile of, uh, of Spider-Man there with his spider sense tingling as he's kind of uh, swinging on his web. So pretty nice book there. Comes in this um, you know old school uh, poly bag and a, and a relatively flimsy board, um, but still a board nevertheless. Book is in amazing shape. I picked up um, three copies of this book, uh, Amazing Spider-Man Renew Your Vows, number one. And again, this is a fried pie variant. I thought that was a really, really cool cover um, because, you know, the classic from the movie is, is Spider-Man kissing Mary Jane, hanging upside down. So I thought this was a really cool one. Um, but again, another fried pie um, variant. I picked up, again, three copies of that. I've actually already posted one on eBay to, uh, to sell, but probably hold the others. Um, this last one is Spectacular Spider-Man, also number one. And I just thought that was a really cool cover as well. Spider-Man upside down uh, and Mary Jane about to, uh, to kill a spider with probably the Daily Bugle, but another really cool uh, fry pie variant. So that same day, I'm driving down the street after leaving these two shops, I hit another shop. The shop is actually closed. Shop was supposed to be open, but it was closed. And I come to find out it was closed because the owner had a, um, had some kind of party to go to out of town or something like that. So she actually was not in the shop, which is fine. So then the very next day I decided to go back. So I actually called ahead of time this time and she tells me she was gonna be there for another hour. So I immediately jump in the car and go because I need to get there that day because I'm flying out the very next morning very early. So I wanted to go to experience the shop and I'm glad that I did. I had the most wonderful experience at the shop. 
Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've gone to some shops where the owner just doesn't speak or speaks very little. If he, if he doesn't know you, um, doesn't really pay you any attention. This shop was actually owned by a woman who welcomed me very warmly uh, into her shop, you know, offered me uh, a cold beverage and, you know, encouraged me to, uh, you know, to take my time to look around the shop, you know, mentioned that if I needed to use the restroom, there was a place in the back that I could actually go, but she received me incredibly well. And so when people uh, treat me well, I try to reciprocate that. And I also try to, especially if it's a business, I try to show them, you know, some, um, some love by actually buying something from them. So I took a fair amount of time actually going through her books. Um, she had about an hour there, so I, I, I kind of took my time, but I was very purposeful in my actions. So in going through her long boxes, and there were, there were many of them, this was a really big shop with lots of inventory. Um, but in going through there, I spotted lots of books. I could have spent a lot more time and a lot more money going through these um, through these boxes, um, but I kind of kept myself under control for some reasons to be revealed at a later date. But let me show you the books that I picked up. The first one, New Mutants, number one. This is not a, a high dollar book, but it is a book that I wanted because I am a fan of all things uh, you know, X-Men related and New Mutants is definitely up there. The same with Exterminators, right? I'm a huge fan of that title as well. This is actually the second copy that I've picked up recently. Um, the first copy that I picked up off of eBay actually had a hole right about there. I, I picked it up from a guy um, who said that it was near mint and uh, near mint actually in his mind included a puncture that went all the way through the book. He said he didn't see it. I'm gonna take him at his word for that. He actually gave me a refund on the book and I ended up giving the book away, but it was it was a wasted um, exchange, right? Because the book was basically destroyed. But picked this book up for a really, really fair price. Um, I've seen shops try to sell this book for $100, $200 raw, which I just think is crazy because it's, it's New Mutants. It's not, it's not a crazy expensive book, but uh, yeah, so this one was uh, a couple of bucks and I was very, very pleased to have found it. Um, she actually had, I think, three copies and this was the best of the three copies. The next book, uh, Uncanny X-Men 164. I believe that this is the first appearance of Binary. And so this is a book that I've wanted to pick up for a while, um, but didn't. it wasn't high on the list. And so it wasn't really a priority, but as I was flipping through the long boxes, I spotted this book and, uh, and snagged it. And it was completely out of order. It wasn't even in the right order in the box. And, and lo and behold, it was sitting right there. So I went ahead and, and grabbed this. I was actually about to pick up a small X-Men collection from a guy locally. Um, just because he had this book in there and the price of the collection was, was a very small amount of money, but this book was in there. And so now I don't even have to do that. Next book I picked up, uh, Uncanny X-Men 199. This is the first appearance of Rachel Summers as Phoenix 2. Um, I just thought it was a really cool book, right? You can't go wrong with, uh, with, uh, with Rachel Summers. So not only did I pick up one copy, but I picked up two. And you can see that there are definitely some color differences between these two books. Maybe one was exposed to, um, to sunlight. Maybe it just wasn't taken care of. Maybe it was just natural printing. I'm not quite so certain, but I picked up two copies. She had a, a couple of them, but those were two really, really nice copies. Next book I picked up was um, Venom Lethal Protector number one. Can't go wrong with that foil cover, right? So I went ahead and snagged this. The Venom movie is, uh, I think everyone by now has probably seen the trailer, but this this is, uh, I think, what the movie is based upon. And I think I've heard rumor that the main um, villain is uh, Carnage in Le Lethal Protector. At least that's what I've heard. Maybe you guys can correct me, but I went ahead and snagged this one for a decent price. I already have one copy of it. I don't know if mine is direct or newsstand, um, but I went ahead and grabbed another copy because it was there. And then I also picked up Amazing Spider-Man 583. This is the fifth print variant. Why did I do it? Because Barack Obama is on it. Can't go wrong with Barack Obama and Spider-Man and Lincoln, Abe Lincoln on a cover of a comic. I've seen this thing on uh, Instagram a couple of times, never had a chance to snag it. And so I saw it in the box and went ahead and uh, made it happen.
So at one point I had pulled together those books and I uh, set them by the front and I indicated that I was just gonna buy them and I was gonna take off because I knew that she had somewhere to go, the owner of the shop that is. And, and she, um, she stopped me. She told me that you know I was visiting from out of town that I should take my time and go through the boxes and, and really make sure that I've given you know it an opportunity to find some things if, if I wanted to she said she would make plenty of time and so again it's just is a continuation of the wonderful experience that I had in the shop so I spent more time going through some of the boxes she had um, most of the things in the shop were 50% off already, but then she also had some $2 boxes, I think $5 boxes, 50 cent boxes, and dollar boxes. And she had the boxes kind of all set up because I think she had a show that she was getting ready for, so she was kind of breaking um, her inventory out in a couple of different sections. And so, um, you know, once she gave me to go ahead to stay a little bit longer, I, I started to go into some of those areas to take a look. And so I ended up hitting up the dollar bin uh, you know, I hit all the bins really, but then I, I finished up at the dollar bin and I was able to snag New Mutants number three. And I think this is the first appearance of Demon Bear. And, and you guys know that there aren't very many keys in New Mutants, um, but this is one of them in addition to number one. Number three is also a, uh, a key book for New Mutants. So I went ahead and snagged that. I also picked up another copy of Uncanny X-Men number 199. Again, this is uh, Rachel Summers' first appearance as uh, Phoenix 2. So I went and snagged that for a buck. Um, again, to the point that I was making before about Carnage and Venom, this is uh, Spider-Man Unlimited number one. And I think that's uh, you know Carnage in the background there. Not sure what role he plays, but hey, I think I already have this book. I picked it up uh, from a, another collection that I purchased and um, saw this one, decided to go ahead and grab it. Sticking with my foil theme for just a moment, Warlock Chronicles number one. Again, you can't go wrong with the little foil. So I went ahead and snagged that. If you guys haven't um, done so, I encourage you to check out the video that I posted up recently about Adam Warlock's first full appearance. I actually get into the details of a full appearance versus a first appearance. So um, you guys may wanna check that video out. It's kinda cool, at least I think. And then I also picked up Infinity Crusade number one. Again, some, some additional foil there. So I went ahead and snagged this book. And then the last one was House of M Sketchbook. So I just thought that was a really cool cover. You can't, can't go wrong with a sketch cover. So I thought that was cool, so I went ahead and snagged it again. It's, it's a buck, so you can't go wrong. All right, so anyway, um, my goal is to get this posted up in uh, tight proximity to the Memorial holiday, but we'll see what we can do. I have uh, been out of town for, for a while and have some work and personal things to catch up on, but I hope to be able to do it. So anyway, thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I highly encourage you to do so. If you have subscribed already, I wanna say thank you for uh, taking the time to, to view all of my videos and also to comment. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Take a look around. Hopefully you'll enjoy yourself. Take care, guys. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention. Boom, she hooked me up with a t-shirt. Bigfoot Comics t-shirt. If you guys are ever in the area of Granite City, Illinois, I highly encourage you guys to go by and check her out. Bam.